Hello, Brian. How are you doing? This is Christian down here in Santiago, Chile, doing a entry uh, uh, to your contest. I, I think I saw your. Uh, I think I saw a, a response from a fellow um, BC member, Gus69 from Brazil. He did an awesome, awesome uh, entry to your contest. And I think you have uh, four questions, um, four ways to enter into your, your, your contest, four questions, but of course you only get one prize. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to try to uh, do the four, the four questions in only one video, so you only have to watch me once. So the first question is show a um, tribute album, albums. Here I have um, four, four CDs. I think Gus uh, show, showed um, this one um, this is um, Na Nativity in Black a tribute to Black Sabbath this is the original one uh, the, the first volume that was released of course this is a good one you ha have here Biohazard, White Zombie, uh, Megadeth, um, Aussie with Therapy, Corrosion of Conformity, Sepultura, um, Dickinson, Bruce Dickinson with Godspeed, Abliki, Joe, Faith and More, Type of Negative and Cathedral this is a really really good one this is the original I think it's the best of the two uh, tributes they put out uh, under the same name, this is Native, Nativity in Black uh, Volume 2. Here we have uh, again um, Megadeth, um, uh, yes, Megadeth, we have uh, Godsmack, uh, Machine Head, Static X, uh, System of a Town, Pantera, Primus with Aussie, uh, we have Slayer, Soulfly, Head, Head Fee, uh, Monster Magnet, and Buster Rhymes. I don't know what, what the hell he's doing here. He, Completely ruined the end of the of the of the CD. Doing um, uh, what's the song, name of the song he's doing? This means war. Iron Man. This means war. It is awful. Uh, skip the, the the last song. Don't go over there. So we have volume two of Native Beat in Black. Then I have um, in the 2000 a tribute to uh, Van Halen. This was this is the one that was um, put together by um, Bob Kulik. Of course, the, he passed away uh, last year. Here we have um, Dweezil Sapa, um, Jack Russell, Mark Mark Slaughter, Julian Turner, Red Beach, uh, Doc Aldrich, uh, Indy Martin, Doc Pinnick, uh, Jenny Lynn, George Lynch, uh, John Caravi, uh, Bruce Kulik, uh, Stephen Percy, uh, Jake Lee. Uh, the the um, Nelson Brothers, uh, Jeff Scott Soto, Bruce Sarcino, um, David Glenn Sisley, I don't know who he is, and Mitch Perry, and a couple of uh, other musicians uh, playing uh, bass and drums, like um, you know, Eric Singer, Marco Mendoza, Frankie Benadi, uh, uh, Tim Boger, of course, we lost him uh, this year, and Tony Franklin. This is a good one. I really uh, dig the the, the Jack Russell uh, uh, version of Unchained, the first one, really, really good one. So you have tribute to Van Hill. Next uh, uh, is a tribute to Ramones, We Are Happy Family. This one was put together, as you can see, of the artwork, artwork by uh, Rob Zombie. He's a huge fan. Here we have um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rob Zombie. Eddie Vedder with Ziggy, uh, Metallica doing 53rd and 3rd, uh, we have U2 doing Beat of the Brat and not so good version, um, we have Keys doing a really good um, version of uh, Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio, um, Marilyn Manson doing the KKK took my baby away, baby away. Garbage, Green Day doing Outside, a really really good one, um, The Pretenders, Rancid, um, Pete York, the Offspring, Rooney and Tom Waits. Here you have another one. Those are my only tribute albums that I have. So, yeah. Next one, show some collaborations. I have many of so I'm going to go fast with this because I don't want to do it very much. I have, have picked up uh, two uh, uh, long plays. Two vinyls, of course. Of course, this, I think this is one of, one of the most famous ones in this queen. Um, with doing uh, with uh, David Bowie doing Under Pressure, this is an Argentinian person of that uh, of Hot Space, the the worst album by Queen by far. Here it is. Uh, under Pressure. That's the last song, and as you can see, it says uh, Bajo Presión. It's 
links we have the, this one has been shown shown the very ten, various by various uh, various occasions I think had been shown by some other guys of course I I, I keep it this because of uh, of the solo of uh, Eddie Van Halen on on on, uh, on Bit It mostly and because I haven't played this in decades so and many others uh, collaborations but the most important to me it's uh, Eddie Van Halen's solo on Bit It next we have um, Next, we have uh, this one. Um, Megadeth uh, did a, a reversion of Arthur Lemo one with the singer of, of, of uh, Lacuna Coil, Christina Scavia, I think. They did a reversion of Arthur Lemo one. No, stick it to the original. Not so good. Next, we have um, this one. Uh, the Rolling Band. He had um, on the last song Illumination. Um, Wayne Kramer from the NC NC Pipes here, brother Kramer, as he says on the on the on the recording of the of the song, you you can hear it. Going back with the uh, uh, Henry Rollins, this is tool they they have here on I think in the song four degrees I think or undertone please don't quote me that uh, Henry Rollins doing some uh, vocals this is their their, their full length debut of um, two this is undertone next uh, living color they had on the song Elvis is dead the um, doing some vocals and um, little Richard <laughs> saying some really very bad uh, things about Elvis there it is and the song Elvis is dead. Next, Alice in Chains. They have uh, the song. Uh, it's not a, quite a song, but it's uh, kind of a noisy thing. A smack. They have Slayer doing noise there. Next, uh, this one, um, Guns N' Roses used to Illusion One. Of course, in the song uh, Coma, they have uh, Alice Cooper doing vocals. Yes, come on, come on, quite this. Uh, yep, the last song. Sorry, there it is. Sorry about the error. Uh, finally, uh, this is Primus and the album Antipop. They have lots of lots of, of collaboration here. They have um, Tom Morello playing guitars, um, Tom Waits doing some uh, singing, and they have uh, James Hetfield doing some guitar work. Um, lots of lots of collaborations. Um, this album, this is their most uh, hard and hard and heavy uh, album of um, Primus. Ah, they also have the the former guitar player of um, Faith and Mode, uh, Jim Martin, playing guitar also. And it's also uh, yep. Those are I think the most uh, famous uh, guys that play on this album. If you if you don't know this one, uh, this is Primus uh, and the album Anti Pop. Next, next, you ask uh, to show um, something that defines or uh, a music, uh, um, a, a different type of music, something that defines some. And I'm going, being a, a metalhead, I'm going to go with something that defined uh, a, a, a style of music that it was very, very related to one part of of the of the of, of the world that it's. The new wave of British heavy metal. I'm going to show uh, two bands. I don't have many much of them, um, and one of is my favorite band, uh, hands down, and it's Iron Maiden. Uh, I think they are the the epitome, the kings, the um, the, the flagship of the new wave of British heavy metal. You know uh, that type of music, uh, the screaming vocals from uh, a, a, a front band that that takes the the stage by storm with high pitch and uh, with uh, uh, two guitars that that are uh, mostly lead guitars that defines that sound that that epic epic sound and of course in this case we have a huge bass player that it's almost the trademark of, of the band and uh, and and so catchy songs uh, very galloping songs with big guitars with big drums with big bass and of course a, a, a really well uh, record album with um, and what's 
I think one of the trademarks of, of at least of Iron Man is it's the art artwork. It's awesome. It's great. You can almost recognize the the band from afar just by seeing uh, the logo, Eddie, and everything, and 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 the sound. And on the other side of of the new wave of British heavy metal is a is a, a kind of lesser known band. They shouldn't also have been a huge because they help the new wave of British heavy metal to be a little bit more uh, faster. That what uh, that what that's what uh, later they develop uh, end up developing um, developing uh, the, the the speed metal, the thrash metal, and it's uh, Raven. They they are from Newcastle, I think. Uh, also in 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 the, in the UK, they are a little bit more speed metal. They help uh, to develop that type of music, but they are also huge, huge, huge. Um, in the new wave of British heavy metal. And finally, before my uh, phone uh, dies, to show some uh, backlogs. I don't have many of, uh, have, because I haven't bought many things in the last years. So I have uh, give it another try to this one, uh, Van Halen. This is Balance, the last one with, um, with Sammy. This one, uh, Ramon's uh, Road to Ruin. Um, Pink Floyd, The Endless River, and some box sets. This is um, Deep Purple, um, Shades of 1968 to 1998. Really good uh, box set. This one, have, um, I, I think I have not listened to this one yet. Uh, this is um, uh, Eric Clapton, uh, Crossroads. Four CDs. And this uh, huge box set, I think I, I don't have listened to it in, in its entirety. This is a, a contest winner I, I had, uh, I think, early 2019, no, early, yeah, early 2019 or early 2020, I can't remember. No, 2019. This is the um, Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon um, immersion box set, a really good price, but I think I don't have listened to it in its entirety. So Brian, uh, 12 minutes, I uh, hope it's okay. I try to put all, all your four um, int uh, questions into one video. I think I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to stop rubbing right now. Once again, this is Christian saying goodbye. Uh, thanks again for having the, this contest. That's it. See ya.